So this is my rig for testing 3.2 litre um, diesel cylinder heads for cracks. So what we have is a thick piece of perspex and you can basically lay an old head gasket on top of this, drill it and tap it so you can bolt it on using the head bolts. Use O-rings sandwiched between the face of the head and the perspex to create your seal. You need to put the temperature sender in. Um, I've just got a bit of plate, a bit of brass plate with a tyre valve um, bolted onto the, uh, uh, the, the um, water um, exit for the cylinder head. So the, normally the, the top radiator pipe connects where that valve's connected. Then the um, supply pipes for the heater, that needs blanking off. So we've just got an old piece of pipe in there and uh, brazed up the end. So we've got a seal there. And on the other side is a, um, a hole where a water pipe goes in under this bit of plate. And I've just basically turned a, a piece of nylon to fit in that hole. Put some uh, instant gasket around it. Then there's a plate just covering it, um, just to hold it in position. So that basically seal up your head and allow you to inflate the tyre valve and we'll see what we get. So you can actually hear there's a leak in here already. I've got some um, ordinary water with washing up with liquid in so it's nice and bubbly and you can spray it in the ports and you can see there's a crack there, rather a large crack, blowing bubbles. Usually with these heads they'll crack, um, they won't crack in the combustion chamber, they'll uh, crack either around the uh, inlet or exhaust valve so you don't tend to get exploding radiators when they do crack. You can do this test with the valves in, it not make any odds. Um, with the valves in you can just put water in the ports and just look for you know bubbling in the ports but yeah a pretty uh, pretty extensive crack there. <laughs>